Hello, my name is Mark Sykes. I am the CEO and director of the Planetary Science Institute. I would like to share with you a positive perspective of diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility. These principles guide my daily management of and planning for this institute. Today, our government is purging these principles from large swaths of federal programs, which makes no sense to me. I want you to know that diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility actually advances science and consequently advances the interests of our country. They are also important for the workplace. I want to take this opportunity to show you that scientists share much of your experiences and backgrounds. I want to show you something about the process of science itself. The Planetary Science Institute takes pride in the accomplishments and discoveries of our scientists as they pursue our mission of exploring the solar system and solar systems around other stars. They pursue questions of origins, life, and how everything works. Our scientists are highly trained, highly skilled, and are supported by dedicated administrative and support staff who are likewise deeply experienced and remarkable. We open our doors widely to all those who are passionate about pursuing this work and sharing it with the scientific community and general public. This work is not for the faint of heart. It is supported through openly competed and limited sources of funding, primarily from federal agencies. To maximize our success as an institute, we seek to attract people from all walks of life. Our institute and its mission are apolitical. Our scientists range from strong supporters of the current administration to those who deeply oppose it, to those who don't particularly care or have other political interests. We have scientists with a broad range of national origins, race, and gender identities. Our scientists are evangelical Christians, Jews, Mormons, Catholics, Muslims, Buddhists, atheists, and other religious and non-religious persuasions. Some are veterans. Our scientists have diverse personalities and a wide range of interpersonal skills. <laughs> some have physical challenges, some are neurodiverse, and everyone comes from a wide range of economic and cultural backgrounds. This is diversity. We value it. We encourage it. We want it. Diversity is a strength of our institute and a strength to our science. How can that be? Well, science depends not just on technical skill and knowledge, but more importantly, on imagination. We use our imagination when identifying questions raised by our observations of the universe around us. We use our imagination in gaining new understanding, trying to, under, trying to answer those questions. We use our imagination, we try to figure out how we can challenge our newfound understandings. Scientific insights can spring from a recent research paper, a conversation with a friend, a religious experience, a dream, or watching a football game. As we work together, we share our ideas from different perspectives and experiences. This vast range of insights are facilitated by increasing diversity. Diversity maximizes the quality and range of the science that we can produce. This is true for all science. We want to retain our talented employees and enable them to engage in meaningful work, so it is important to provide a positive, engaging, and supportive work environment. To realize this, we commit to being a community dedicated to excellence in what we do and help each other to be successful in our professional and even personal endeavors. We value each other and our families. We value everyone's opinions, even when they do not, when we don't agree with them. We listen to each other. We are honest with each other. We always treat each other fairly with dignity and respect. We acknowledge when a person has been wronged and work to rectify it justly. This is equity. Science is a naturally inclusive human endeavor, unconfined to a single institution or profession. It is largely a cooperative, even global enterprise, inclusive of many communities. 
Inclusion supports our desire for growing diversity to add to what we have. We want to create more diversity by reaching out to the general public, including communities of people that have little participation in our field or even in science in general. We want to inspire them, teach them, and motivate them. We sometimes do this by giving them some participatory experience in our science. We, we actually do this for all the communities in which we live. <clears throat> we are committed to enabling all staff members to reach their full potential. Therefore, we are committed to providing accessibility. When employees need help with accessibility to do their jobs, we do whatever we can to help. This goes beyond just providing a special chair or a large computer screen. Accessibility by PSI is sometimes provided by time, time to deal with intrusions of life, though I recognize this can be difficult for some businesses. <clears throat> Accessibility promotes productivity and a positive work environment. Always striving to promote diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility enhances our ability to advance our mission and promotes the betterment of our science. When these principles are denounced and degraded, it harms our science and American competitiveness in the world. It worries me that such rhetoric has often presaged violence against those who are perceived to benefit from the denounced activity. Many of our scientists are concerned for their future and even physical safety. There are legitimate complaints regarding some activities undertaken under the rubric of these principles. However, I would like to see those specific objections considered and addressed in a fashion that is narrowly tailored to relieve any wrong being committed while maintaining and building on all the good we have achieved. Thank you. <laughs>